Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to lecturers and my fellow friends. Today I will present the assessment to conceptual and site planning. So the site analysis that I have been uh, categorized is two, three: socializing center point, natural climate, and accessibility. Socializing and center point. The existing old town are uh, do not and old town area do not have attractive gathering spot for local and outsider to socialize. The local neighborhood is harmony between each other. People will celebrate life and having daily leisure activities without the gap of races. For the natural climate, high humidity, high precipitation, and hot weather condition without enough shades serves the needs of planting greeneries on site for human comfort. Hot weather during the day makes people feel uncomfortable if without the presence of wind. And the accessibility is strategically, strategically linked by precedent, precedent cross bridge and having the existing human path around the site. Proposed walkable street to promote connectivity between the building. Issue on site, based from the Newspaper, Malay Mail newspaper, 18 July 2017. Kajang City need a new place for the people to do the activities such like exercise and leisure time. The Kajang Stadium and Kajang Skate Plaza so far are the two facilities of the recreational park that Kajang's people can having their sports activity. However, even though the facilities of a skateboard is provided, the number of users is still lacking and not fully utilized at the maximum capacity. And also, there is the lack of promotion about skateboard sports. A narrow perception of people who are things that skateboard that skateboard are not good due to the safety. So, this is the two uh, existing recreational park that that at the Kajang. Kajang Skate Plaza and Kajang Stadium. So based on from the demographic background, we can tell that majority of people in the range of 20 until 29, which is almost 90,000 from the age distribution 2010. Since that skateboard is an extreme sport, the target user it might be from the teenagers and the youngsters. And activity in Bandar Kajang, from this survey, about 36% of people in Kajang love to do their leisure time. Meanwhile, 56 of survey stated that people are disagree that recreational infrastructure enhance the community well-being in Kajang. While a 15% of survey stated that people of Kajang are issuing the lacking of facilities in commercial center of Kajang. So why is skateboard? Based on the site analysis, it is found out that skateboard is ranked as the second highest activity of uh, that people of Kajang love to do, which is around 26% from the survey. As stated before, there is an existing recreational place for Kajang to play sport, which is Kajang Stadium and Kajang Skate Plaza. Kajang also famous as one of the hotspot to play skateboard in Malaysia, but the participation of Kajang people is left not so encouraged due to safety reasons. So this the existing skateboard park. So with the existing skateboard park, I will I would like to promote this extreme sport to the people of Kajang by giving the fact that the game is still safe to be to play if wearing safety equipment such as knee safeguard and elbow safeguard and also to promote more this extreme game so that the existing skateboard park is fully used for the recreational activity by the teenagers and the youngsters in Kajang. So my target client is the Santa Cruz which is an American famous brand for skateboard sports field. As for 2020, only three countries that have this brand's outlet which is US, UK, and Australia. Instead of selling skateboards, Santa also have their own apparel product and get and cap. 
So my conceptual statement is revival means repromote and motion means the movement of skateboard. It just mean that my concept is to, to repromote the existing skate park in Kajang by reintroducing the skateboard sports to the people of Kajang and to be the hub center for extreme sports in Kajang. The idea is the idea of the concept is to propose a community-based concept boutique that promotes the extreme sport in Kajang and focusing more into skateboard game. To propose community-based center is to fulfill the needs of the community towards the skateboard, skateboard shop for the players in Kajang to buy and repair since there is almost none of skateboard shop in Kajang. So the principle that I will use is hierarchy and transformation in motion of Radial. The reason I choose hierarchy is to resemble the timeline of skateboard sports in Kajang. This is because Kajang used to be as one of an attractive city for the skateboard games with the existing core of Converse Skate Plaza. That really struck me to revive the sports by having this concept to change the timeline by reviving the extreme sport as a leading sport in Kajang. So the conceptual development at the at the picture right and uh, right top is about the sun and uh, the, the the movement of the sunrise and uh, the sunlight from sunrise to sunset so i split it to to create feeling of two different people the main shape that i've been choose is from the skateboard itself the cruiser shape because skateboard have three type and I extract from the cruiser shape to off board and also and here is a multiple plane at the left to giving sun shape represent the people of Kajang that invited into the building right for this part right shape of the building this right shape is to is the reflection from the center for, to create a purpose and activity here for the client which is santa cruz and the change of form here we can see the movement uh, is to represent the transformation and the hierarchy in the timeline of the skateboards in kajang and this is uh to category into three which is a block for client purposes the center is the courtyard of the skateboard players and also this this strip strip stripe is the first facilities like cafe and also the pedestrian walk so this is my study model so as a uh, santa cruz also uh, santa cruz product is apparel cap and also of course the skateboard so for, so for the president study i choose oslo skate hall in oslo norway because this uh, this uh, skate plaza is indoor it's the first time uh, first of its kind self in norway too so this is uh, some uh, can portray of can reinvent and reuse into my design they have uh, a big a big place for the children for the elders and also they have a cafe for the visitors to come and to enjoy their games and eating and so for the space planning for the ground floor I would propose like this egress from here and egress from here and also egress from here for the loading uh, for the loading area for the loading purposes so the basement the lobby is here when the ingress so until to this basement and also at the ground floor I propose a plaza for uh, a big plaza for the uh, 
directly to the lobby because uh, there is a from uh, to propose the kiosk as stated the kajang requirement and also a beginner skate training center and also a cafe there is a walker bay a pedestrian walk from the bus stop through cafe and through open park and come go to the plaza and also services so for the first floor it is the skate park the the real skate park and also uh, retail for the men apparel and uh, also services. Second floor, skate park too, because it is double value with the first skate, with the first floor of skate park. And also a retail of skate shop, clinic and services, and also uh, services, clinic and aid services. So for the third floor is retail for the women apparel and also art space which is a proposed space for the people who want to decorate their skateboard deck because the culture of skateboard is they like they love to to design their own uh, uh their own creativity at the deck of the skateboard so the fourth floor floor will be a retail shop for a cap and accessories and also a wall climbing because it is in an exchange spot that focusing on uh, skateboard it might be and i want to propose a community based center it might be some people that do not like activity skateboard therefore they can try a wall climbing and also the fifth floor is uh, the services and also the office and the meeting room the private part is at the top of the building that's all from me thank you